Welcome back to RimWorld. JC here. And we return to the same projects we were working on last time. Only I was just cycling time on a little bit. And... Uh, and, and the tax system has detected something. So we've got... Well, it's less than a day. Probably some raid... We've got raiders. So... <clears throat> more things to feed the Tesla coil. Because that's a thing. But, yeah, we might as well... Is it already on? Hold on. Oh, it's already on. I left it on. Oh, well. Go, go, go! It's approximately less than a day, so unknown when they're going to show up, but they're going to show up. and then attack. Oh. Okay, good job I deselected that bear then. Don't want anything going outside. Oh, uh, if only... If only at this moment... The boom bat here... I swear it should be a boom rat, but hey. If these little things just went mad and just ran over to them and detonated. That'd be really funny, but it's not going to happen like that. So enjoy your volcanic winter long night here. For most of you, it will be your last. Well, now that I've had these finished... Oh, wait, no, I was going to wait until the other thing came online. Because then I don't have to install it. That just requires JC doing more research. Because it's... I totally wasn't checking the price, don't worry. There. We're so close to being able to put it in. <laughs> Alright, you lot. Wakey, wakey. Up you get. Out here. Level 8, level 16 in shooting. So they get closer. And then they break. Do you think you'll be allowed to leave? Well, out of the entire attack, two. Two survived? Two survived. Yeah, I call that effective. Right, let's flick that. You lot. You can go now. Go about your business. Oh, sniper turret's still having a go. Oh. Make that only one survived off this map. Oh, one person's on fire. We'll have them all finished off. Nobody survives. <coughs> yep, yeah, that's what happens. Nobody survives. Research complete. Yay! Okay, got one more bit, because I actually want to do this research for once. Ah, uh, the SCAD, or the 
Super Capacitor Arc Defense System. Ah. It's an additional layer, uh, armor layer, which is applied to Rim Atomics energy weapons. Uh, comprised of structural composite supercapacitors. See what I mean by fancy words? The armor protects the weapon by discharging with the plating and then releasing an electromagnetic arc discharge, which deflects or vaporizes incoming projectiles, reducing total damage received by up to 90%. The SCAD is a consumable system with limited uses and will need replacing. Adds shielding. <coughs> So in essence, it's a form of reactive armor that doesn't actually need to be hit. It detects and then attacks. So we're going to start research. Re we research. We're going to start research on that, and then, and then, yes, we're going to research the Punisher. Because while I was moving time along. Did a little bit of trading. As in a lot of trading. And we managed to get that done. Which is nice. And what this will add is we'll have all of those research. We'll just have those to research afterwards. Really important for this one the drive actuator and the targeting chip. Because this thing can shoot tiles off this map. So what you can do is send a scout to an enemy base and then bombard it to death with punishers. If you felt like it. Which is fun. Ah, good. They're all finished off now. Right. <coughs> Allow selection. All of that. Is now allowed. Oh, they did actually make it off map. Which is surprising. Ooh, that could be pulled in as well. More meat. That was nice and quick. The hauling drone was right on that. It's like meat. Not that we need more meat, of course. We've got more meat than we know what to do with. That's even after selling. <coughs> Carnist needs treatment for what? What have you got? Gut worms. I forgot we still had gut worms. Research later, get treatment now. Maybe the cleaning joint hasn't come across and cleaned this yet. There you go. Eventually did it. I was out here trying to clean, I don't know, the ground or something. Good luck trying to clean dirt. Doesn't tend to work all that well, I have found. <coughs> cleaning dirt and all that. Probably gonna need a medicine cabinet or something. Medicine cabinet. Maybe. Let's see, do I have one? Storage. Medicine cabinet. We'll make it out of steel because.
have a rock nearby, I need to see the details more. It doesn't work like that anymore, but... Okay, there's doors on the front, so... Not that it really affects them, but I want that that way round. <clears throat> it looks like a sink, to be perfectly honest, but... Medicine! Nope. Um, medicine. No, you can store antibiotics there if you want. Bee worm. Easy flu. Proofen, which I'm not making. Mecha gone, yes. Anoxicillin, yeah. That's in my eye, just in case I ever need any. Uh, do I want to install the Nutramine here? No. I would normally. That would mean if they're making anything, they'd have to run all the way down here, pick it up, run all the way back, make something, run all the way here, then back. Yeah. No, best to just leave it over here, and then they can just... I think these bills need to be, like, drop on floor or something. No. Now nah, they can do the extra run and just make the stuff and then run it in. Don't spend an awful lot of time making these things. Wow, we've got deworm, easy flu, not bad. We've got most of them, so we won't get gut worms again, as long as this keeps up. But we do need to get some more um, neutramine. That's the only problem, because we don't have any mech gone. That's the really annoying one. Because <clears throat> that stops the um, mechanite stuff. Which are an absolute pain to deal with. I think I did did, I think I did did did, did 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 did, did one piece of research that will help here. If not, it'll be added to the queue. Uh, production. Biorefinery, that can slot in there. And we'll build a chair. And it is absolutely hacking it down with rain outside. Luckily enough, I don't think it comes through on the recording, but I can hear it through my headset. Ah, right, we've got this. I need to see whether it's over here. There it is. Make Nutramine from Nutrient Solution and Protein Mash. That's it. It'll be right at the bottom of the list. But do until you have a bare minimum of... Uh, how much does the mecha got require? Ten. There you go. Always have ten nutrient. Always have ten nutramine in stock. But it's your lowest priority. Perfect. That's good. Um, so that means I just need a small amount of... This stuff it requires nine of each. So this is... Uh, that one, and make nutrient solution. Do until you have, there you go, keep 10 in stock. There's lots of protein mesh available. 
because we got an airdrop a very long time ago. But there we go. Now, now we don't have to worry. We will be using up our meat and veg supply, but at least we'll be always have the necessary medicines to stop horrible things happening. I think that's a bit more important, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I am storing 155 chem fuel there with no sprinkler system or whatsoever. Let's be honest, if a raider did actually manage to break through and land on that in a drop pod raid and it didn't get disrupted, and they landed on that, they wouldn't like the results because they would detonate along with it. it. Does mean we'd lose all our components and a load of other things, but. <clears throat> What are you doing, Jay-Z? Come along. Yeah, they've begun. So JC's now sitting in the couch and hey. Yay, they're now celebrating. Woo! All three of you. Congratulations. Or commiserations, depending on how you feel upon, upon the subject. Right, carry on, about your business. <clears throat> I wonder, do I have the, um, the storage? Did I pick that up? No, I haven't picked that up yet. I know it's a really low priority, but um, it's a mechanized armor rack. That's a mending. So where's the other rack come from? Hmm. That's a mechanized one. That's annoying. I was hoping I could actually have that, but it is hidden somewhere within all this missing research. I mean, all it is is just a stand that you stick some clothing on. It's not in storage. Is it under furniture? Ah, there it is. Armor rack. Prevents deteriorating. Armor rack. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct this. Been there a while, but now I want to do it with this. And um, there we go. It's going to go right in this corner. Once it's been deconstructed, of course. Of course, they take the clothing away because reasons. Now then. What do you store? This is all you store. You store a radiation mask and a radiation suit. That's it. Uh, 
don't allow tainted. There you go. And eventually somebody will come along and put the stuff back on there. There you go, like that. What that means you can do is you can get someone and just say, you can then right click on it and equip from armor rack, which means they'll put this gear on and put their current stuff away. Go do their thing and then when you're finished you can then tell them to swap back. Ooh. Ah, we just need weapons data. So we need another raid, basically. What that does also mean is we can go across to here and go, Hey, you. I'd like a copy of you just there. Let's just pick that up. Wow, I do actually have all the materials for it as well. Sweet. Oh, I do need to upgrade the ERS on this one. The new one will have it automatically. But I'm going to need... Make an ERS, and I'm also going to need a MEEPS. Shouldn't take him very long to produce that. He's amazing at it. <coughs> one down. Okay, and that's the only time I'll have to produce those because from now on, they'll automatically be applied. There you go, see? The ALC and the ERS is automatically. Now you notice that pulse size is minus 15%. Cooldown, minus 15%. This, pulse size plus 15%, so it goes back to a default pulse size but its range and damage goes up. So these counter each other. In this case, they counter each other, which is nice. It's very good. Ah, we have uh, improved Glitternet processors. Good. We'll start work on the Glitternet room soon. Trademark, soon. I just do that. There we go. Do I want a steel wall? No. I want a granite wall. I'm sick and tired of having that as a steel wall. We'll just provisionally place that in. Because <coughs> I'll need to run two rows. We look at the uh, glitter net. Glitter net have your hub. Well, that works. Yeah, that actually works. They can break down, which means they need maintenance, but you can't place them very close together. I'll have him in the back like that. Shouldn't really place it quite there though. Clone that. Cancel that. Pull it back by one. Then do that. Because <clears throat> what will happen is if there's any breakdown on this row, they can come in and then down the row to fix it. Maybe wondering why am I talking about an extra row and stuff like that? Well, these things. You can get special processors that are this size. And they'll go down there. When I eventually research them. But for now they can just sort of rudimentarily build. I mean I might as well just go like this and go. 
Oh, they need to actually do some granite. Wow, they actually need to chop up some bricks. I mean, it's not like we haven't got a lot of it around at the moment. Fall has begun. <laughs> well, in a volcanic winter and a long night, I don't think it gives a... F nobody gives a flying what's it what's going on. We still have tea. Have they been cured yet? Yes. Yes, the gut worms have finally been uh, purged, and now they've got they've got all of the uh, medicines. Oh, there you go. Now starting to make Nutramine. Not a particularly very efficient process, I might add. Um, let's up that. Pause it at... Unpause at 10. So we've always got at least 10. Otherwise, they're going to be doing this forever. There we go. <clears throat> and you can take any meat. And you can take any. Ingredient? Sure. You know what? Sure. You can take any ingredient. And any vegetable. There are some things I will not allow you to take, but luckily enough, they're not as, uh, they're not selected by default. Because <coughs> as much as it would make the best Nutramine possible, you're not using my tea leaves. So I draw the line somewhere. Tea leaves can only be used for tea. I mean, that it chumps through. Making one batch of that is like 50. Uh, where was it? It, it? it takes a great chunk out of there, but you only have to do it every so often. Now there's a fair supply left here. You can just get on with doing that. See, look how much more efficient that is. He's got to go through everything and restock it, but I think he's just stocking the mech. Oh yeah, this definitely will drain your food supplies. Oh, you're having a good little munch, are you? One of you. Perfectly fine, carry on. I'm not biased in any way towards that cat. Totally not biased. At all. I don't know what you're talking about. It's only the great and glorious stealth ninja kitty pickles. You know, a cat that was not particularly the sharpest tool in the box. Most of the ash has settled. Oh wow, look, we're no longer in a volcanic winter. We're still in a long night though. That's it JC. Train pickles the stealth kitty to be more stealthy because in a low lit room would just blend into the floor. Though would be a bit of a giveaway when it started purring. Oh look, we've got more Nutramine. We've got the flowers. Which is a higher priority. 
It won't be much new to me, but it'll be some. He's going for a wander, I think. Of course, this takes higher priority than stone cutting. I mean, if stone cutting was a major problem, I could, in actual fact, make a. Um, there's a machine to do stone cutting for me. I mean, it gives the man something to do. Once he finally gets on top of medicine, he can actually start doing. That should be it. You should work on stone cutting now. What are you working on now? Are oh, you restocking supply? Are you? Oh, okay. I kind of wish you'd actually just work on the other thing. But I mean, we got to get through it. He is basically the only crafter. So. What are you up to? You're resting. Of course. Shoot Frenzy. Oh. Bird will shoot more accurately. Oh, in fact, he's got a shooting skill of 16 already. Sure, he can shoot more accurately. Oh my god. Both of them, both JC and Hood, have shoot frenzy, cuz. All the DACA, all the time. Ah, oh, slave ship. I, I doubt they'll have anything useful, but. Please go and call them. I don't quite think they got their... Maybe it's the slave division of Utani Lubricants. Uh, oh, I definitely know that's a play on some, uh, some other company. Ah, uh, what can we get? Neutrimine. If we really wanted to, which we do. Anything I can get rid of. Which I haven't already gotten rid of. I got weapons. Yeah! Slave ship here. Have some um antimatter flash grenades. Actually I want to turn those into a belt. Frag grenades. It's three sniper rifles. Get rid of two of those. Charge pistol. Smoke launcher. Nope. Combat handgun. Nope. Oh, we get some of our money back. Uh, we don't have to worry about Nutrimine for a little while now. There you go. He's now gone on to uh, stone cutting. Finally, we're going to get something built. <laughs> Been a while. We'll have that tree cut down. What's this? Sandstone paving. All right. What's this? Roughly hewn sandstone. Excellent. We'll go more floors. Basic glitter net integration. Perfect. We're getting there. Now then. I now need to think. I need to think real hard. Thinking's hard. Right. thought we don't need this extra bit because if you put another one of those boxes that side then there we go 
They can fit in and do all the maintenance they need in the central corridor still. <clears throat> Which means I don't have to do any special cabling to get them. I can just link them up via the wall. Perfect! Uh, do I really want to start building a Glitternet hub? Sure, why not? Hence, a Glitternet cable is one steel, one plasteel. A hidden one is double the resources per tile. Well, I already know what I'm doing, and what I'm going to be doing, so I'm just going to pre-run the cable. So we've got integration, excellent. Started building the room before we actually really need it, but you know. Or building the thing. It takes a very long time to build these. Um, more floors? More floors. There it is, spotted it. Smooth the surface. I want all of that smooth. <clears throat> then I want sandstone hex paving. Like that. There you go. Because I do like my hex paving. To me, that looks nice. To some people, it looks disgusting. That's that's there choice on the matter, not mine. Um, should really smooth that one as well. And that one. Oh, to be in keeping, it should actually be that one. That's more in keeping. Yep, sandstone slab, and that's a going to be a sandstone stone slab. There. Got to keep consistency here. Damn it. What have we got? An eclipse. How can you have an eclipse when the sun is already eclipsed by a massive vessel? Okay, game. Whatever. Whatever. How is this reactor doing? Fuel chain reacts with fuel in adjacent slots, which produces more power. Fuel will produce less power over time until it is spent. Ah! Good to know. Estimated life is a few years for most of these things. Okay. Should really think about processing plant then, shouldn't I as well? The long night is ending! Dun, dun, dun. We still got an eclipse though. But I'll actually be able to save some power now. Once the eclipse is over. <laughs> oh dear. Go home, game, you're drunk. I wonder if she's actually going to get back on that. You done with that? You've still got stuff to do. <clears throat> oh yeah, Glitternet's actually quite an expensive thing to have running. 
it is rather expensive. Hopefully it's got a roof at this point. You don't actually need light in there. How about power cable? I don't have a power conduit here in there either. There you go, just to be on the safe side. Right, that's all the cabling and everything that we'll need for our Glithnet server room. There'll be a roof there for a little while. Maybe somebody will take it down eventually. Or what will actually happen is I'll do this. Because the shadow would irk the hell out of me. Hello visitors, are you having a nice day? Yes, hello. Glorious little room, isn't it? It's not, it's a horrible room, but hey. It's next to the med bay for when you guys inevitably have a fight. Because that happens. Ah, oh, the eclipse is now over. Right. Uninstall that. Install that there. Obviously, they'll do that as soon as they've woken up. Because whenever I actually want to do something near the end of an episode, they'll inevitably fall asleep. Oh, well, would you look at that? We have a psychic ship. Right, we have a psychic ship for next time. It's mostly scythers. It's all scythers. Oh, this is going to be fun. You're going to get to see the Tesla coils. Rip the absolute ever-loving snot out of these guys. That will be next time. I will need to turn that on before I forget. There we go. Well, that was this episode. Next time, we'll be dealing with the psychic ship. And moving on to the Punisher. After that, I do really need to look into... Um, the extra, the reactor fuel processing plant that goes in here. Hence why there's actually a door there. I actually planned it. Be another little corridor and then a fuel storage and processing area all in one lump. Nice and away from the uh, colony, right up here. So there'll be a little corridor leading up to it. Basically aiming to put as many walls between the radiation and the colony. So I will actually be upgrading some of these walls to composite because the amount of hit points a wall has diminishes the amount of radiation that passes through. That's how the game mechanic works. So yes, I'll need to do that at some point soon. But on that note, thank you for watching. And until next time, this is JC.